Hi, I'm Paula. And I'm Pam. And yes, we are twins and we're kind of annoying because we're wearing the exact same thing. Thank you, doTERRA. <laughs> I think it's cute, not annoying. Okay, maybe. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to be doing today is talking to you about a product or a supplement that everybody should be taking for overall digestive health and that's Terrazyme Digestive Enzyme. Before we get into the detail of it, I just want to explain what we're going to be doing in this video. We have this really super cool demonstration. Now, the first time I saw this, I was like mind blown. It really helped me understand why we need to be taking a digestive enzyme. So we have um, two bowls of oatmeal and we're going to show you how the enzyme actually works with the food in our stomach or in our system, what it actually does to mm -hmm. it. So we're going to do that demo. So hold on. So cool. Yep. So before we do that, Pam, why don't you explain what enzymes are? Sure. So enzymes really are a catalyst for cellular function. Um, they play a critical role for all of the different body processes that we have. So they play a critical role in healing, in growth, in reproduction, in um, hormone balancing, immune support, even uh, thinking ability, respiratory function, and also obviously plays a role in our digestive process. Like, I had no idea the critical role that enzymes play like that's pretty pretty crazy so doTERRA's digestive enzyme has 10 active whole food enzymes in it now if we're eating raw fruits and vegetables that naturally has digestive enzymes in it so when we're eating it it's actually helping with our digestion but if we're eating foods that are heavily laden with preservatives or it's heavily processed or even cooked food, then we need to incorporate digestive enzymes into our diet because our food just simply doesn't have the enzymes. And actually when you are cooking food, that kills the enzymes, which is why we then need to supplement our diet with an enzyme. And the 10 strains of enzymes in here are actually what's missing. From our foods that help to break down yeah absolutely so again it plays like a really critical role now when we take when should we take it or how often should we take it so it's recommended to take one to three with a meal now if you're eating a salad or some fruit you're not going to need to take a digestive enzyme but if you're eating food like proteins especially things like steak which is really hard for our body like our, the meat to break down in our system then we need to be definitely taking um enzymes or complex carbohydrates mm -hmm fats, any, anything, honestly, mm -hmm. guys. right? Whatever so, we're eating, we need yeah, to it's not just fruits and vegetables. We need to be eating or taking the digestive enzyme. Um, another thing I do is just before bedtime, I'll take one to two before bed for any food that might be left in my stomach that needs to be broken down so that while I'm sleeping, um, that's happening. And I usually wake up feeling a little bit lighter. It's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I usually recommend too, if you are struggling with some kind of health issue, um, we may want to up our terazyme intake. So again, depending on what you're dealing with, maybe you're dealing with eczema, maybe you're dealing with autoimmune disease, mm -hmm. um, maybe uh, you have specific digestive issues, like maybe you're sensitive to gluten or things like that. Um, so I will sometimes recommend that people increase their terazyme intake. Mm -hmm. So rather than just taking them with a meal, that they also take it before bed and then they take it again when they wake up on an empty stomach. So sometimes between eight to 10, a day depending on what normal. you're struggling with yeah so. yeah that could be normal so just go by whatever it is that you're eating and even how you feel if you eat a meal and you all of a sudden just feel like heavy or you've got like a pit in your stomach that's an indicator i think for um incorporating a digestive enzyme mm -hmm. and i will add and if you said this already i'm sorry um but what happens to when the enzyme is working to break down the food it's allowing mm -hmm. our body to absorb the nutrients from the food so that's really why we need it is because our body needs the nutrients and then it helps our body to eliminate that excess waste. Yeah, like it's those two things. Mm -hmm. Absorb the nutrients and it get, it goes through the elimination process of what our body doesn't actually utilize in the food. So yeah, really critical. Okay, let's get to the demo. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have two bowls of oatmeal. We've cooked it and I just want to show you how gloopy and sticky it is. Like that is kind of gross. <laughs> Don't you think that's kind of gross? Yes, and I made this about two hours ago. So I and it's it no in... reflection of her cooking, although no. she's not going to cook. But anyways, okay, it's not... well, um, anyways, <laughs> no, I put it in the microwave she's and good. then I stuck it in the fridge and there's no recovery from that. Okay. Anyway, so I stuck <laughs> it in the fridge for about an hour and then we're doing this demo. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you, I'm going to try and mix this up to loosen it up. Um, and you can see as I'm doing that, like, it's like jelly. It's just, yeah, it's gelatinous. It's 
gloopy. I was just saying to Pam, is gloopy a word or a sound? So I was like, gloop. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, you see that it's not really breaking down. It's staying in a clump. So what Pam's going to do is I'm going to break open just one terrazyme. We're going to start with that. And I'm just going to show you um, what the terrazyme does to this meal. So as you can see, I'm just sprinkling all of the terrazyme from the capsule into the, oops, and the capsule piece. So you can see, can you see the powdery substance there? So now I'm just gonna mix this around. And you can see, again, it starts out and it's really globby, gloopy, gloopy, and globby. I like gloopy. So you can see now it's starting to loosen up a little bit. Mine's not doing that, you guys, at like at all. I'm kind of scared that I might, if I do upside down, will it come out? No, it doesn't even come out with the It's like glue, you guys. Sorry for all the scraping on the bowl. It's probably annoying. But so as you can see, it's starting like liquefy almost. To liquefy. It's like soupy. Soupy and gloopy. And globby? No, globby. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so I don't need to use another terrazyme because I think you guys can see how that is like running down the bowl there. So again, depending on what you're eating, you know, if you're eating a heavy meal that's got carbohydrates and protein in it, like a steak, yeah, help your body out. Or pasta. You guys, yeah. I love pasta, but it does not always sit well with my digestive system and I sometimes feel like bloated and heavy after I have pasta so that's when this would come in handy and that's what it's going to be doing to our food in our stomach and you know digestive um, discomfort is one of the top mm -hmm. um, complaints. complaints that we get from people is what can I use to help with my digestion and of course we've got lots of options aside from essential oil but you know if we get to the point of what our body actually needs first which is breaking down food if we're still left over with some digestive issues well then that's when we can incorporate um, other products like essential oils or probiotic mm -hmm. or something like that this would be step number one as well as getting enough nutrients but that's mm -hmm. a whole nother video that we're going to be doing um mm -hmm. so yeah so there and i would just add too that if you've had a huge meal even mm -hmm. um you know around the holidays or whatever it may be you just ate way too much grab your terrazyme take two to three and it's really going to help gross that is that's gross oh careful no. yeah Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that demonstration and 